International atomic time is a high-precision atomic coordinate time standard based on the notional passage of proper time on Earth's geoid. It is a continuous scale of time, without leap seconds. It is the principal realization of terrestrial time. It is also the basis for coordinated universal time, which is used for civil timekeeping all over the Earth's surface. UT deviates from time by a number of whole seconds. As of January 1, 2017, when another leap second was put into effect, UTK is currently exactly 37 seconds behind Thai. The 37 seconds result from the initial difference of 10 seconds at the start of 1972, plus 27 leap seconds in UTK since 1972. Thai may be reported using traditional means of specifying days, carried over from non-uniform time standards based on the rotation of the Earth. Specifically, both Julian days and the Gregorian calendar are used. Thai in this form was synchronized with universal time at the beginning of 1958, and the two have drifted apart ever since, due to the changing motion of the Earth. Thai is a weighted average of the time kept by over 400 atomic clocks in over 50 national laboratories worldwide. The majority of the clocks involved are cesium clocks. The international system of units definition of the second is based on cesium. The clocks are compared using GPS signals and two-way satellite time and frequency transfer. Due to the signal averaging Thai is an order of magnitude more stable than its best constituent clock. The participating institutions each broadcast, in real time, a frequency signal with time codes, which is their estimate of Thai. Time codes are usually published in the form of UK, which differs from Thai by a well-known integer number of seconds. These time scales are denoted in the form UK in the UK form, where NPL in this case identifies the National Physical Laboratory, UK. The Thai form may be denoted Thai. The latter is not to be confused with TA, which denotes an independent atomic time scale, not synchronized to Thai or to anything else. The clocks at different institutions are regularly compared against each other. The International Bureau of Weights and Measures combines these measurements to retrospectively calculate the weighted average that forms the most stable time scale possible. This combined time scale is published monthly in circular T and is the canonical Thai. This time scale is expressed in the form of tables of differences UK minus UK for each participating institution K. The same circular also gives tables of time minus TA, for the various unsynchronized atomic time scales. Errors in publication may be corrected by issuing a revision of the faulty circular T or by errata in a subsequent circular T. Aside from this, once published in circular T, the TIE scale is not revised. In hindsight, it is possible to discover errors in TIE and to make better estimates of the true proper time scale. Since the published circulars are definitive, Better estimates do not create another version of Thai, it is instead considered to be creating a better realization of terrestrial time. Early atomic time scales consisted of quartz clocks with frequencies calibrated by a single atomic clock, the atomic clocks were not operated continuously. Atomic timekeeping services started experimentally in 1955, using the first cesium atomic clock at the National Physical Laboratory, UK. It was used as a basis for calibrating the quartz clocks at the Royal Greenwich Observatory and to establish a time scale, called Greenwich Atomic. The United States Naval Observatory began the A.1 scale on September 13, 1956, using an atomic and commercial atomic clock, followed by the NBS A scale at the National Bureau of Standards, Boulder, Colorado on October 9, 1957. The International Time Bureau began a time scale, TM or AM, in July 1955, using both local cesium clocks and comparisons to distant clocks using the phase of VLF radio signals. The B scale, A.1, and NBSA were defined by an epoch at the beginning of 1958 the procedures used by the B evolved, and the name for the time scale changed, A3 in 1964 and TA in 1969. The SI second was defined in terms of the cesium atom in 1967. From 1971 to 1975 the General Conference on Weights and Measures and the International Committee for Weights and Measures made a series of decisions which designated the BIPM time scale International Atomic Time. In the 1970s, it became clear that the clocks participating in TIE were ticking at different rates due to gravitational time dilation, and the combined TIE scale, therefore, corresponded to an average of the altitudes of the various clocks. Starting from Julian date 2,443,144. 5. Corrections were applied to the output of all participating clocks, so that time would correspond to proper time at the geoid. Because the clocks were, on average, well above sea level, this meant that time slowed by about one part in a trillion. 
the former uncorrected time scale continues to be published, under the name EEL. The instant that the gravitational correction started to be applied serves as the epoch for barycentric coordinate time, geocentric coordinate time, and terrestrial time, which represent three fundamental time scales in the solar system. All three of these time scales were defined to read JD 2443144. 5,003,725 exactly at that instant. Tai was henceforth a realization of TT, with the equation TT equals Tai plus 32. 184 S. The continued existence of Tai was questioned in a 2007 letter from the BIPN to the E2R which stated, in the case of a redefinition of UK without leap seconds. The CCTF would consider discussing the possibility of suppressing Tai, as it would remain parallel to the continuous UK. UK is a discontinuous time scale. It is occasionally adjusted by leap seconds. Between these adjustments, it is composed of segments that are mapped to atomic time. From its beginning in 1961 through December 1971, the adjustments were made regularly in fractional leap seconds so that UK approximated UT2. Afterward, these adjustments were made only in whole seconds to approximate UT1. This was a compromise arrangement in order to enable a publicly broadcast time scale. The less frequent whole second adjustments meant that the time scale would be more stable and easier to synchronize internationally. The fact that it continues to approximate UT1 means that tasks such as navigation which require a source of universal time continue to be well served by the public broadcast of UK. Thanks for watching.